Is Manuka honey effective on wounds? Good point. Um, might, may be. Um, but again, the same. What I would speculate at the moment, this is speculation. I have no real, exp uh, no real data confirming this speculation. The reactivity of MGO is very high, especially under the conditions of the, of the blood. We have a pH of about 7 to 7.5 or so. We have 37 degrees Celsius. So I would expect that there's a rapid uh, degradation as well of, of, of MGO to lactic acid. So if we could analyze in these wounds, we probably would see an increase of lactic acid in the wounds um, and a modification of, of, certain, of certain proteins. So I would guess that the resorption through open wounds is relatively low. But of course, you're perfectly right. This has to be, um, would have to be analyzed, especially when um, large wounds are, are treated with, yes. with high, large amounts of, of MGO-containing honey. Yeah. Um, the surface area of the intestine, if you slit it and opened it out flat, would be massive compared with the area of even a large yep. wound. So that, that has to be taken into yeah, consideration yeah. as well. Yeah. Does the MGO itself go into the blood at all, or is it broken down before it? It is broken down before it enters the blood. This is, a, this is um, my statement at the moment. Um, we have analyzed very, very few blood samples at the moment because it's a bit difficult to, to go with such studies to the ethic committee, committee. And at present, there's nothing known. There are no reports on an increase of MGO in the blood after eating MGO. So I should say there's no resorption, no transformation or no, mm, yeah, no, no increase in the bloodstream. Is Manuka honey effective on wounds? Yes, it's ideal for wound healing.